guys in the car for the first time. I'm actually doing a travel with me to the Taco Bell mukbang, which is also a first thing because I've never done a mukbang or any type of, you know, um, eating video. But I'm really excited about this. I've um, been wanting to do this for a long time. I always want to do like question and answers. I feel like I get a thousand questions a day on Instagram just in my DMs and the questions that y'all ask me are just crazy. Okay, here we are. I got my mask when I get up to the window. Hello, I want to talk about this special one. Thanks for cardio exact change. Sorry? Want to accept some cardio exact change. Okay, that's fine. Okay, what can I get for you today? Uh, I'll do the... Where's the, it's like a power bowl or something. Power menu bowl, okay. Yes, um, just that and, and a water. Okay, no problem. So it's gonna be five menu one at the window. Awesome, thank you. You're welcome. She was so loud, but I still don't know what the heck she was saying. I wonder what the ratio is for like drive through workers is it usually guys or girls i would not know i know audrey he worked like in high school he worked at taco bell and mcdonald's so he knows all about that drive through life i bet people come across like the meanest people sometimes I'm driving like really slow because i'm trying to put this on Okay. I'm kind of like far away here. Okay. napkins in the bag. Awesome. Thank you so much. Okay. I hate these masks. I hate them. I can't wait till this is over, y'all. I'm gonna find a place to park. I'm not someone to drive and eat and film at the same time. So, oh, there's like a person right there. I definitely don't wanna film a video and this person's like awkwardly watching me talk to myself while I eat a Power Bowl. I don't know if anyone's in this car next to me, but I don't think there is anybody in this car next to me. This is like the thing with the least amount of calories, and um, it's also pretty good. I don't really eat like fast food ever, especially lately. I don't even eat lunch lately. <laughs> but I'm just like not much of a veggie person. Hmm. Okay. So, it's hitting right now. All right, oh, I'm just gonna scroll all the way to the bottom. You have a boyfriend or not? Boyfriend? No, technically no. Fiance, yes. <laughs> What will make you happy in life? Wesley Bruce. Make me happy. Getting verified on Instagram would make me happy. Uh, um, that's like the first thing I can think of. But what makes me happy? Maybe like... I like seeing like my son happy. Knowing that I'm doing like everything I can for him. Um... Seeing, like, my family happy. I don't like seeing people, you know, stress about things. So I guess what would make me happy is to be able to make everyone else happy. Like, I wish I could just be the person that they need whenever they need something. Hablas Espanol? No. Sorry. <laughs> Do you like to be a porn star? No. Because I'm not a porn star. I sent you a message on private. Too bad. On the bed, do you enjoy with a girl? No. Strictly dickly. That's my favorite video. 
Well, if you're asking like what my favorite movie is, it is Sleepless in Seattle. Definitely my favorite movie. And Bridget Jones Diary, the first one. Because I love it. And she always inspired me, even when I was like a little girl. Well, you create nude video like in the past. Um, check my OnlyFans and find out. Are you single? No. Answer your messages. That's what I'm doing, duh. I want to be your son. Um, sorry, that is... That position is taken. And that's a really weird thing to say, by the way. Haida Movic. Like to dance. Um, yes, I do like to dance. Um, I like to think I have rhythm. Some people think most white people don't. I am Greek, so I'd like to think I'm a uh, spicy white. <laughs> what is your address and phone? Um, none of your business. <laughs> Great. Do you speak a little German? So... Mein Deutsch ist klein. I lived there for 10 years and that's the best I can do. I can like pretend to be German. Like when I'm shopping in Germany, I can walk around and say hello and tschüss like everybody else. And they wouldn't know, just as long as we don't have like complex sentences. You look very good, keep it up. Thank you, Alfred. That is very nice, thank you. What are my hobbies? Curvy88. Oh, I like that page. They post me a lot, so shout out to them. But, um, my hobbies? Uh, I really do like, um, photography. I like to take pictures, whether it be of me, obviously, or, like, of my son. I like to take pictures of my backyard. Um, I really like cinema. I've always liked going to the movies, um, baking, I love to bake, I love to cook, I actually like to think that I'm good at it, I try, um, I've been cooking for a long time, I would always help my mom when I was younger, so now that I'm older, it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. I can eat this whole thing, but I'm trying not to. Do you ever wear stockings or pantyhose? Yes, all the time. Check it out on my OnlyFans. Did you ever have anal sex? No, I've never had sex before. I'm a virgin. Are you a virgin? Yes. That's like my most popular question that I ever get is if I am a virgin. And the answer is yes. Born again. Again. And again. And again and again and a virgin. <laughs> Let's chill and smoke. Chicho, I might take you up on that. Where are you from? I live in Florida, Orlando right now. Um, maybe one day I'll move to Miami. Not a big fan of other states. I really like my state. Um, but, where am I from? Correction, like, what am I? I'm Greek and American. Mostly American. But I did live in Germany for 10 years. Like I said. I like your pussy. Is it yummy? I got that wop. Can you publish my account on your page? 
Sure, I have promo rates if you want to know all about those, Mr. Homzala Trechi. Uh, my email is in my my email is down in my description. How tall are you? I am five eight. How old are you now? He called me his queen. Well, your queen is going to be 23 on Sunday. Today is Wednesday. Mm. Honestly, ever since I started my diet and I you know, don't really drink sodas as much, if I do, it's always a Coke Zero. But water, it just hits so much better than Coke. When did you experience your first orgasm? Incredibly young. I started way too young, y'all. But I guess that made it better for me. Because, um, at this age, I know exactly what I need and what I want and how to get it. Okay, so, dro underscore hc asks, what helped the most in your weight loss? Less calories but eating different or working out? So, working out does nothing for you but tone up your body. People think that you can, like, maintain the same diet that you have and then work out. I'm sorry, but the only thing that's going to happen is you're going to grow some muscles. That's about it. Like, yes, it's possible to burn fat that way, but if you really think about it, um, the amount of calories that you burn are not that much, and actually you end up gaining weight if you were to, like, um, strictly, if that was your goal, you know? It, it, I feel like when it comes to exercise and, and working out, that's really for someone who wants to, like, build a physique, you know? If you are like me who wants to shred pounds, literally it's a 100% diet. I have not exercised at all. And um, I definitely kind of want to make a video on this because it's just a lot to get into. But to answer your question, um, less calories. Literally, less calories. That's it. That's a secret. It's not that big of a secret. All these um, you know, weight loss programs, they like to tweak it and say, oh, you can't eat that, can't eat this, can't do this, can't do that. You need to exercise, you need to this and that. No. It really comes down to stop eating as much as you've been eating. Period. What size cup are you? I am a double D. How big are your breasts? Just answered that. I love these questions. They just are so unique and special. A lot of people are saying stuff in Spanish, and I don't speak Spanish. Are you a porn star? Are you a porn star? That's uh, one, two, three questions. Uh, no, I'm not a porn star. Stop asking me that. Ooh, Lawrence. Okay, so Lawrence asked, what should I get, a regular Mercedes GLA, or am I feeling that high power AMG? Um... Definitely the um, GLA. I, I like it. I like the size of it. It's like a mommy, like a sexy mommy car. So that's what I'm trying to be. So my camera is starting to tell me that it is really overheating. I need to get a new camera. But um, for now, I guess we'll just switch over to Bedroom Angelica, who's going to let you know all about our sponsor for today's video. So today's sponsor is actually... Um one that relates to a lot of the adult content that I've been doing lately. So you guys know I do a lot of adult try-ons, I do adult products, but I have never ever done book porn. No, seriously, it is literally 
porn but in a book. Right now I'm actually reading this book called Once Rejected Twice Desired and it is really really naughty. It is a graphic novel and the sponsor has lots of graphic um, adult novels on their app. So the app is called Dreamy and they have over 5 million active readers. They have thousands of books from, you know, different types of genres like romance, um, werewolves, vampires. They have, you know, um, billionaire content. They have some pregnancy, some suspense. I mean, they throw it all in there. And a lot of their stories are written by native writers. The book that I'm reading, Once Rejected, Twice Desired, it has 80 episodes, which are basically chapters. And um, initially when you join, you already get some coins, which you use to unlock the chapters or the episodes as they call it on Dreamy. So just those initial coins, it definitely um, makes it easy for you to find a book that you like and you can read a little bit of their episodes. I really do recommend um, Once Rejected, Twice Desired. I'm gonna read you the naughty little excerpt. It says, when Alea turns 18, she knows that she will eventually find her mate. What she doesn't know is what will happen when she finally does. The betrayal of rejection knocks her down, but she's not meant to be down for long. She's meant for greatness. Follow along as she overcomes to get everything she has ever wanted but was too afraid to ask. She was once rejected, but now twice desired. You will not come yet, understand, little one? Hearing him say this makes me almost fall over the edge. I can barely form a coherent thought, let alone words. Suddenly, I feel a hard smack on my ass. I gasp at the impact, it hurts so damn good. This girl sounds like me. Answer me, little one, he growls in my ear. Yes, daddy, I understand. <laughs> I feel myself starting to fall apart, my legs are shaking uncontrollably, and the tears are running continuously down my cheeks. I feel it that way, like inside. <laughs> Hold on, baby, just a little bit longer. I nod my head vigorously. Daddy, please, I beg. I don't know if I'm begging him to stop or to keep going into my last breath. Then suddenly his fingers are gone. Almost immediately my body weeps from their absence. Open. I do as, in, I do as instructed and open my mouth. He inserts the same two fingers. He was just ravishing me with allowing my tangy sweetness to coat my tongue. I drink down my juices hungrily. I feel as if I'm going insane. Oh my God, this video is definitely not going to be monetized. Just from reading the excerpt of that book, y'all, that is just a tiny little smidge of what you're gonna get out of the full book. It is really, really steamy. Um, reader discretion is advised. Anyways, I totally recommend the app Dreamy, um, and just for watching this video, you actually get a little um, special discount from Dreamy, which is going to be in my description, so get down there and check it out. But um, let's get back to the questions. All right, hey again. Um, next question, how's that baby doing? He's doing really well. He's my little sweetie. He is literally the cutest thing in the world. The most beautiful baby I've ever seen in my life. But I think that's every mommy who's going to think that. Um, he really is so sweet and kind. And, and um, I can tell, like, he's already, like, a great person. And I can, like, see his personality. And I'm just, I'm so excited, like, for everything that's to come with him. So, What's your child's name? My son's name is Adrian. My name's Angelica. His daddy's name's Audrey. So we all had to do, you know, it was like Adrian was like a combination of Audrey and my name. And it also, you know, has an A in front of it, which is what we like. We all have the same initials, like even unmarried, we have the same initials, which is also cool. Do you like Mexican food? You're so beautiful. Oh, thank you, Omar. 
Hoshi, Omar Hoshi. Um, I love Mexican food. Does Taco Bell count as like the fast food Mexican? Maybe, but you know, I really like like going into a Mexican restaurant. I always get enchiladas. Okay. That's an interesting question. Why do you do why do you sex work? You must be an accomplished model. So I don't really know what sex work means. I feel like the word is too vaguely used. I am not the sex worker I used to be. Um yes, once upon a time I used to do a lot of very naughty content. Now it's definitely different, but I still do adult content. So, um, sex work, I don't really like to use that word for myself, but, um, you can be an accomplished model, a sex worker, a mom, a housewife, uh, a, anything it does not matter. You can literally be whatever you want. There's no, like, you can be one and can't be the other. That's ridiculous to think that way. Juan, Juan E, asked if I like di gold over diamonds. Um, if I can have both, Are you a virgin? What's your boobs and ass size? Yes, I'm a virgin. Virgins don't measure their boobs or their ass size. Chic. H underscore zero two eight. Need more pictures of your feet. Um, I always get a pedicure like once a month. I, I always make sure to post my sexy new feet on my OnlyFans. So if that's what you're into, you know where to find them. You know who's I'm Angelo from the UK. Never, oh wait, I haven't. So I've been to London Angelo, but I'm sorry. I never really met anybody. I was only there for a few days with my mom. It was a lovely place. I've never met so many nice people. Even the police officers were really kind and helpful. And I just remember I have so many nice memories from London. Being like such a cold and gloomy place, it was really surprising how just kind and wonderful like everybody was there to tourists. Because most people are very mean to tourists. So. It was really nice to see that. It was really refreshing. And on top of that, everybody spoke English. I, Whenever I travel, it's like everywhere I go, it doesn't really seem to be places where people speak English. So that was a plus. Can you act like you're getting shot five times just for fun to see your acting skills? No. <laughs> Why do you hide your chubby belly? It is so sexy. I try to not, I don't try to hide it. Maybe it's going away. Maybe that's the case. What do you think of a foot fetish? I think it's awesome. If you like feet, more power to you. I'm actually really curious on like, why someone would have a foot fetish. Like, I've even Googled it. I think it has something to do with, like, the shape of your foot. I wanted to know, with a woman of your height, do you get tired faster or get crazier? Um, I'm guessing it's a sexual question. Like, 
being taller, I get tired easy? Uh, no. It's more of like your endurance. Like how long could you ride, you know? Like that's really what it's down to. I try my best to go for as long as I can. Oh, he asked another question. Not because I imagine you are more hot and skinny guy, like, I think it would work very well. So I guess he's saying, like, with a skinny guy? Well, skinny guy, maybe he has, like, a lot of endurance, so I don't need to have that much, if you know what I mean. What's your favorite position? My favorite position is missionary and cowgirl. What do you study? So, when I went to college, um, I studied mass communications. My first major was um, graphic design, though. Has a guy ever worshipped your feet before? Actually, yes. <laughs> it gave me an image in my head I didn't want to remember. Anyways, guys, that's it. I'm going to go back in line, order Audrey's food. Um, comment down below what you usually get from Taco Bell. But I 100% recommend the Power Bowl. But yeah, guys, this has been so much fun. Check my description for Dreamy. And I want to thank Dreamy for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys for all your questions. And I will be doing more videos like this, especially if you guys like them. So let me know what you think. I'll be in there in the comments if you want to respond to me and me respond to you and you know how it goes. Okay. Bye.